Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today, finally, Supreme Fall Winter 19 lookbook is here. Christmas came early, the best time of the year, in my opinion. Man, I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this for a long time, so hopefully you guys are just as excited as me. Before I get into reviewing the lookbook, I wanna mention three quick little things. One, if you're new to the channel, drop a subscribe for your boy. It'll definitely be appreciated. We're working really hard on this channel, and I, uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys enjoy it. I have a lot of good content coming up for you guys, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. Two, if you're new to the channel as well, go check out my Fall Winter 18 box logo giveaway. It's a free box logo. I don't think anybody would want to you know, miss out on that. So if you have a chance after the video, go check that out. It's pretty easy to enter. And three, in regards to the lookbook, I would say take people's opinions with a grain of salt. Around this time of year, Supreme gets a lot of hate and a lot of criticism. So like what you like, buy what you like, fuck what other people say about it, and keep it pushing. It's impossible to like an entire lookbook. If you do, there's probably just not enough, you know, variety in the lookbook. So, yeah, don't be don't be pressed if people say that, you know, you're liking the wrong things or if your opinion isn't popular. Fuck all that. Just like what you like, wear what you like, buy what you want, and keep it pushing. That is my opinion. But into the into the uh, lookbook, I'm going to start with the jackets and just go down what Supreme uh, laid out for us on their website. I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quickly because uh, there's definitely a lot of items. So if I go too fast, I'm sorry. I'm just going to like you know try to get to the uh, to to the good items and you know spend my most of my time speaking on the good items because yeah I don't really want to waste a lot of time on stuff that doesn't really matter. But let's get right into it. To start, we got this uh, Supreme Shot leather jacket, same old leather jacket that we get usually. Um, this time it's a collaboration one. It looks like yeah with Martin Wong. Martin Wong, for you guys who don't know, is a uh, he's an artist. He specializes in like urban referenced art, which is pretty cool that Supreme would utilize him to collab with because uh, you know it kind of it kind of relates. But pretty dope jacket, probably gonna be really expensive. So yeah, I'll probably be passing on it. Um, up next, we have a Team Varsity jacket. This Varsity jacket is pretty dope in my opinion. It had the branding on it is really nice. I like how the Supreme Team it, you know it overextends into the uh, into the arms. Pretty dope. Nothing to be upset about, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that red and yellow one is really, really nice. I fuck with this a lot. The red and yellow one is probably my favorite. Up next, we have a Gore-Tex tape seam jacket. Eh, I'm not really a fan of cheetah print, so I'll probably pass on that one. The black one isn't so bad. Pretty simple, in my opinion. It's Gore-Tex, Supreme and Gore-Tex, you, you know, usually come together every season and multiple times, so this one is pretty all right. The black one is definitely my favorite, though with matching pants too. Again, the black ones are probably my favorite. The cheetah ones aren't, you know, they're not bad, but they're a pass for me. Gore-Tex overcoat. This is, oh no, that is terrible. That Gore-Tex branding on the back, that's trash. Gotta go. Teal, big trash. Trash, 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 trash. All right, next, we have this camel leather hooded jacket. This is actually not bad at all. I actually really fuck with this piece. I just think it's gonna be insanely expensive. You see how the Supreme branding here too on the on the on one of the camel panels? That's pretty dope. That's a nice touch. I like that a lot. But it's probably gonna be expensive. If you can afford it, it's definitely a dope, dope, dope piece to have. I like the the uh, the green and, and yellow one, like the Brooklyn camel one better than the urban camel one. Even though the urban camel one is not bad, it's still uh, I still like the other one better. But if you can go for it, I would go for it. I don't think I am because of the price point. But who knows, we'll see when we get there. Up next, we have the matching pants. These pants were leaked with, uh, with, one, of the, uh, with one of the early images that we've seen from, from Drops by Jay. These pants aren't bad. If you wanna do the whole set, I can see some people pulling off the entire set. But me personally, I'll probably be passing on them. Nice. This is a Gore-Tex 700 filled down parka. This is gonna be really warm. It's probably gonna retail for like, you know, 600, 700 bucks. But this purple is nice. I fuck with this purple a lot. Purple and pink is definitely a flex item too. I like this. And I like how it's puffy too. I like this. This is not bad. The teal one isn't bad, the black one isn't bad. For those, if you're looking for a coat, this is definitely a good coat to have. It's definitely super warm, 700 fill. That's a super warm jacket, so that purple one is nice. If you can pull that off, that's a flex. Big, big flex, that's a vibe. I fuck with it a lot. Up next, we have a contrast stitch iron rack. 
This is all right. Yeah, I'll probably pass on this. The gray one isn't bad. Yeah, the gray one is probably the best one. I don't like these little these little slits at the bottom. I wish that that wasn't there. But nonetheless, it's Gore-Tex, so again, another Gore-Tex piece is not bad at all. Not for me though. This we saw earlier in the season, or earlier in the off season, I guess you can call it. It was part of the GQ article, the one that leaked. This is the Will Harrington jacket. This is not for me. Um, I can see I can see some people pulling this off again, but yeah, I'm probably gonna pass on it. And it's lined in plaid. I am not a fan of plaid. So yeah, this is definitely a pass for me. It's coming in black as well. Yeah, I'm not going after this. That's a pass for me. Up next, we have a cotton field jacket. This is actually pretty fire. I like this a lot. And it has the classic logo on the left chest too. I like this piece. This reminds me a lot of the uh, of the uh, Stone Island Supreme collaboration that we saw last season with the uh, with like the, the tan camo. This is nice. I like this. And it has the pocket on the uh, on the sleeve. That's nice. With the embroidered classic logo on the back as well and in a larger text. This is fire. I can see people going for this. And it's coming in blue. The blue one is not my favorite. The black one is all right. There's a tonal stitching on it. The camel one is definitely the one for me. Up next, we have, woo! This is fire. This is fire. Checkerboard puffy jacket, fire. This is a, this is a banger right here. This is, this is gonna be, this is, this is gonna go. This is gonna go. Woo! This is gonna go. The red one and the black one is probably the best one in my opinion, but that tan and brown one is definitely not bad. The green and blue one is all right. I'll probably be passing on it. But that red one, mm, that's the one. That is a beautiful jacket. Beautiful, beautiful jacket. Shout out Supreme for that. Oh my lord. Woo! Shoulder logo track jacket. This is fire. Fire. Dirty fire emojis. Fire, the black one too. The red one, I'm not too crazy on. I'm not really a big fan of Gucci colorway pieces, but that yellow and black one is a banger. Banger, shout out Supreme for that. Fire, with the matching pants. Woo! Fire, fire, fire. The yellow one and the black one is probably the best one in my opinion, but the black one is definitely not that far off. I can definitely see a lot of people going for this. I can definitely see that one also reselling really well in the aftermarket. The, the, the jacket more so than the pants, but if you get the whole set, the set will go as well. That's a nice, nice, nice piece. Um, up next, trash, 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 trash. All right, I guess that was quick. That's all trash. What else? Um, iridescent puffy jacket. This is nice. This is all right. The branding is really, really nice. I fuck with it. Fuck with it. Woo! A purple iridescent puffy jacket, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's a whole vibe. I would actually go for that myself. I would wear this, to be honest. The gray one is all right. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. That purple one is definitely the one. Definitely the one. If you're in the market, again, for a, for a, for a coat, that's a good coat to get. Really, really nice. This we saw also leaked. This is not bad, Suprema's love. It's the older reference to the Vietnam War. Not bad. It's not for me. It looks to be pretty light. It's a zip-up denim jacket and coming in green as well. Yeah, it's all right. I'll probably pass on it. For those of you guys who are into, you know, all over prints, that's that's not a bad jacket to have. Up next, we have the Reversible Dimensions logo denim work jacket. Um, it's reversible, which is nice, but I'm not a fan of that denim print. Yeah, I'm probably going to pass on that. I like the quilted part, like the, the, the reversible part but the ARC logo killed it in my opinion. It's just too many contrasting logo types and, and materials. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. I'll pass on that. Up next, we have a reversible puffy work jacket and it's like a tribal camo. It's not bad, not bad at all. It's really loud, really vibrant. This one's probably my favorite, the the black and the, like the navy one. I fuck with it. And lined in black, reversible black, not bad. I, yeah, I would definitely say that my, my, my favorite one, I can see a lot of people going for this loud red, yellow, and black one, but I would go for the navy and black one, to be honest. That was probably my favorite. Up next, we have the Ganesh Fofer jacket. 
This is pretty dope. It's faux fur and it's all over print. Very little Supreme branding on it, if any. Yeah, there's a little Supreme little logo on the back. It's pretty dope. I can see specific people, again, going for this. It probably will sell considering, I mean, it's not a fleece, it's a jacket. So it'll probably retail for a little bit more expensive, but I can still see people, you know, going going after it. So up next, we have the Mugshot Crew jacket. Is this a collaboration? Oh yeah, it's artwork by Rita Ackerman. Rita Ackerman, she actually doesn't do this type of art. It's pretty weird to see her doing this type of art. I'm usually used to seeing, you know, like a, like more paint to a canvas type of things, like just like a splatter image or like an abstract, really contemporary piece of work. But this is not bad. I'm actually not mad at it. I don't like that it's a crew jacket. I wish it was a different type of jacket, but it's not bad. Yeah, this graphic on the back is definitely not bad either. I kind of fuck with it, to be honest. I just wish that it was on another jacket. But nonetheless, it's still a dope jacket. The colors are not my favorite, to be honest, either. The best one, in my opinion, is probably the black one. Up next, we have a leather collar puffy jacket. This is actually fire. I fuck with this a lot. I like the leather collar. I like the, uh, the small box being red, so super contrasty with the yellow. This is nice. It's probably gonna be pretty expensive because of the leather and because it's a puffy. It's probably gonna retail for like, you know, 500, maybe not, maybe like 400, 450 bucks, but still nonetheless a, a dope jacket. Expensive one, but if you're looking for one, it's probably gonna last you a long time. Good quality, so yeah, not bad at all. Um, plaid, I hate plaid. I don't know why they would do this. The black one's not bad, pretty simple. I would say the yellow one is definitely the one. This is trash, trash. Trash, 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 all trash. Man, Supreme, you guys sure do know how to, you know, make some fire shit, follow it up with some trash. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. I will not be getting that. That is trash in my opinion. The logoing is not bad. The branding pretty, pretty good, but I don't like the jacket. The color here is not terrible, but it's not for me. Trash, trash. The red one is not bad either. If I had to choose one of these, I would probably go with the white and the baby blue one, but that's with a gun to my head, to be honest, because I'm not a fan of this. Pinstripe panel sports parka, trash. Why did they put those pinstripes there? And why is it so long? Come on, no, that's not, what is that logo? Is that a Superman logo? No, 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 Supreme, stop, 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 stop. The red one isn't terrible, but nah, I'm passing on that. That's ugly, very bad. Up next, we have this, uh, this is actually pretty dope, a Realtree Camel Parka, and it has like a faux fur around the hood. That's pretty dope in my opinion, I like it. It's probably gonna be pretty expensive, probably upwards of like 500, 600 bucks. But again, if you're looking for a coat, this is definitely gonna be a good coat to get. It's gonna be super warm, and uh, I like the branding along the middle of the jacket. It's dope in my opinion, I don't think you'd be mad at it. Also comes in black. Nice, I like the camel one better. Not a bad jacket at all. Up next, we have this Paisley quilted jacket. This is pretty dope. I like that branding on the back. The branding is really, really nice. I fuck with it. I fuck with this piece, to be honest. I'm not mad at it. I would actually wear this. I don't like the black one. The black one is pretty simple. I like the corduroy collar a lot. I'll probably go with one of the Paisley ones. I would have to, you know, wear, try it on first before picking one. It's not something that I would expect with resell, so I'm saying it more so for personal reasons, but a dope jacket nonetheless. Crown track jacket, eh, it's all right. It's a wash in my opinion, it can go either way. If you want it, I would say go get it. It's probably not gonna do well in the aftermarket, but it's all right. As a set, it'll definitely be better though in my opinion. Um, Up next, we have a reversible bandana fleece jacket. This is fire, fire. 30 fire emojis, 100 fire emojis. This is fire, big fire. And it's reversible too. Listen, man, black, red, woo, tan. Come on, that is fire, 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 fire. That blue one is the one. The red one gives a, a lot of gang vibes, uh, you know, to it, but I, I like them. I like them all, to be honest. I wouldn't be mad with any of them. And it looks like it's Gore-Tex. Are they Gore-Tex? It's Gore Windstopper. I'm not sure what that is. It's probably gonna be warm. 
this is nice. I like it. And they're all, you know, the, the reversible side is black, which if you want to go super incognito with it, I like this a lot. That blue one is a super vibe. I fuck with it. Um, heavy night on Anorak. That's a pass for me. People really like the branding there, you know, on Anoraks. I'm not a fan, to be honest. I'm not sure why uh, so many people like it, but to each his own. Again, um, the best one, in my opinion, is probably the red one, followed by this white one, but I don't know. I'll probably pass on it, to be honest. With the matching pants, uh, heavy nylon pants, eh, I, it's a wash for me. I don't really care about them, to be honest. Up next, we have a suit, a shark skin suit. Not for me, definitely not for me. It'll probably be insanely expensive too, considering I don't even know what shark skin is. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going for these. Dope, nonetheless, if you're into suits and if you wanna flex with the suits, you can go for it, you know, pull up to the function in a nice Supreme suit, but I won't be that guy. Next, we have the Delta Varsity jacket. We saw this in a leak. These are pretty dope. I want to see if we get this design on something not being a varsity jacket, maybe like a t-shirt or a hoodie, because that'll probably be dope. The jacket isn't bad though. The red one is really nice actually. I like the red one more than the black one. And it looks to be like an embroidered logo on the back. So it's probably gonna be really good quality. I can actually see why people would go for this. Would I, it'll depend on the retail price to be honest. I will just have to see. But it is dope. It's a pretty dope jacket. Um, Dead Press Quilted Work Jacket. This is all right. Oh no, never mind. It's not all right at all. That's pretty ugly. That back, yeah, I don't like it. Nah, that's a pass for me. Pass, pass. Colors are not bad, but the, the design on the back, I don't like it. Cop car and board work jacket. Uh, oh, I like this actually. This is dope. I'm not a fan of work jackets because they're they're pretty uh you know pretty basic jackets. A lot of people out here in Supreme actually are big fan of work jackets. I'm a really big fan of this logo though. This design is really really nice. I like the cop car paying homage to NYPD to New York. I like this. This is nice. Again, hopefully we can see this on something not a jacket, maybe like a like a t-shirt or a hoodie, because that'll be really really dope. And it also comes in orange. That orange pops. It's crazy. Black one. I like these, to be honest. I like the, the, the design more than the actual jacket, but nonetheless, a dope jacket. Up next, 1-800 Supreme Coaches Jacket. What the fuck is this? Supreme, come on. This is no, this is a no. This is a no, 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 no. Trash, trash, trash. Pretend we never saw this. It looks like that's it for the jacket. So jackets are pretty dope. Up next, we have some shirts. This plaid shirt. Bad, trash, oh my god, with the 1-800 Supreme. Get the fuck out my face, that is so bad, so ugly. The mentions logo denim shirt, all right. Nah, never mind, that's trash. Plaid, mm -mm, not into plaid, never been into plaid, never will be into plaid. This kind of reminds me of the Nike Supreme collaboration that we got last year. It's not bad, but it's not for me, I don't like plaid. Monogram shirt, eh, all right. Denim shirt, this denim shirt is actually not bad. This is something that you can find like at the end of the season, like during the sale, or maybe like below retail on like Grailed or you know on StockX. If you're into the stuff like this, I would say not, maybe not to get it right away when it drops. Wait to get a steal in the aftermarket because uh, you know people are always looking to sell stuff like this. So pretty dope corduroy shirt, whatever. Trash in my opinion. I won't be going for this. I won't be going for this one either. Quilted. Plaid, nope, that star logo. Stop doing the star logo, Supreme, please. That shit is trash. It's not good. A Rayon Martin Wong too. This is actually really nice. I fuck with this. If any of you guys have ever had any Supreme Rayon shirts, you guys would know how good quality and how just soft and great they are. This one is a really nice Rayon shirt in my opinion. I like this. Another one by Martin Wong, also really nice. I really like this to be honest. Both of those are fire. Fire, the eyes rayon shirt, woo! The white one is a banger, I like this. The black one too, you see that black one? Woo, that's nice. I might go for that one too, to be honest, that one's fire. Another rayon shirt, this one by Rita Ackerman. Again, these, these designs by Rita, I'm not used to seeing. If you do some research on Rita, you guys would see what I'm talking about. She's more, she's definitely not into this type of art, so it's really nice to see her, you know, taking part in this type of designs. This is nice, like this type of conceptualized art, I really fuck with, and it's on a rayon shirt, fire. I really like this. The black one is really nice too. I would probably go with the red one, the, with the white and red one more, but this black one is, is, is nice, is really nice in my opinion. 
Um, up next, we have this uh, trash, big trash bag. Big trash bag, fuck all that. Another rayon shirt, this one's not, not good, not good. Flannel, plaid, no, trash. This is not bad. This gives me like very like business casual, like for those of you guys who work in an office, if you wanna pull up to work in like a Comp Supreme Flex, this is for you. Not for me though. More plaid, trash. The back is not bad, I like the logo, but the, fla the plaid flannel, no. Bad, trash. Stripe, it's whatever, a wash. Um, velour, I like the Paisley design, and I like the classic logo. I don't like the velour though. I'm not a fan of velour. I like Supreme when they do like the work vibes on like on like pieces. Like this is not bad, but the back killed it. Like if it was just the front, that logo on the front, I would say it's a, it's it's a, it's a go for myself for personal reasons. But for for the back, I would not go for that. More flannel or flannel. More flannel plaid. That's a pass for me. That's a pass. 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 All right, it looks like we're into tops and sweaters now. Yes. We got a striped mohair sweater. This is not bad. I actually kind of like it. It's mohair too, so it's probably going to be pretty good quality. I like it, to be honest. I'm not mad at it. I like the multicolor. It's probably going to be a sleeper simply because it's mohair and, and it's multicolor. Um, I remember last year during week one, we got the mohair cardigan and that was a big sleeper. So I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a sleeper too. The black one is not bad. I like the multicolor one better though. Yeah, that multicolor one is nice. I would actually probably wear that too. Um, we have a Supreme is Love sweater. Not for me. The Supreme is Love jacket is probably gonna be the one for this design to go for. This sweater is not bad, but I can definitely see you know a lot of people passing on it. So I'm along the same lines. Um, we have a brush wool zip up sweater. This sweater is not terrible, but it's wool, so it's probably gonna be expensive. And uh, yeah, I'm not liking it enough to want to go for it if it's expensive, so it's a pass for me. Tribal camel sweater. The camel isn't bad. I'm actually not mad at it. I like this black. The, the darker one is probably my favorite one. I, I kind of like it. I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I can see people going for this. Honestly, I really could. Trash. 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 That's disrespectful trash, to be honest. Both of these. Oh my god. Raised logo sweater. I don't like it. What is that color? My God. Walking out looking like a highlighter. No, that's a pass for me. All of them, pass, keep them. I don't want them, yeah, I could have them. Up next, we have some jerseys. Love and hate jersey. We saw this in a leak. I'm more on the left side of the jersey. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the colors. I don't like the over excessive branding on it. Yeah, I'm passing on it. This is fire. I really like the, 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 I really just into baseball jerseys. I wish it wasn't velour, but sometimes I can accept velour. Like on a baseball jersey, I wouldn't, I'm, you know, I'm not inclined to hate on it. So I will probably be going for this piece. I like the ARC logo on baseball jerseys too. It's probably like the only time where I feel it's appropriate on baseball jerseys. So I like this piece. I'll probably be going for it. This hockey jersey, I'm indifferent about it. Oh, I actually like this color. The teal one and the purple one, I kind of like it. And it looks like it has the world famous text going along the back, which is always a, a nice uh, nice touch. I kind of like this. I can actually see people going for this, to be honest. I don't like the one that we saw first. I wish that we would have, we would have seen this, uh, this teal one first. The black one is also really nice, but yeah, whatever. This is nice. I like this. This gives me like some like OG Russell or like champion windbreaker you know, vibes. I like this. When this ages, it'll look really nice. I'm not a big fan of the Gucci colorway, but, and it turns out that that one's the best one, the red one. I like this piece, to be honest. The red one, I wish that the, it wasn't blue. I wish it was a different color combination, but whatever, dope piece. Velour football jersey. I can, I can understand the football jersey. I cannot understand the velour. That is not a good decision, in my opinion. No, that's a pass for me. Pass. Pass. What the fuck is this? The colors are fire too. That's the shit. Man, the color the color blocking on this was so nice. But the design, like what a way to drop the ball. That's crazy. Shaking my head. Whatever. On to the next. 
chrome logo long sleeve top. This one's all right. If you're looking for some for some long sleeve tops, this, is, this will probably be a, a nice tee to go get. It's a cotton jersey, so it'll probably be retail on the more expensive side of things, probably like 78 to like 100 bucks. But it's a dope logo, dope shirt. Striped slower sleeve top. This uh, pretty dope. I like I like a striped striped tees. Um, it's not again. It's gonna be an all cotton jersey, so it's probably gonna be you know pretty expensive. I like the red one the most. That red one is actually really really nice, like the red, pink, and burgundy one. It's nice. Um, but is it worth it? That'll be a decision for you. It's probably not gonna resell for much, so it'll be for personal reasons, but a dope tee nonetheless. This is pretty dope, I like this. The gray one is nice, that tan one is looking really nice. The, yep, the goldish blue one in the back too, also really nice. Again, an all cotton jersey, so it'll be uh, something that you get for personal. Maybe this one actually would have some resell to it. I can see it flipping for like you know, 10, 15 bucks over, or maybe even more in some colorways. But I like it, to be honest. I fuck with it. Another all cotton jersey. These are all in tops and sweaters, so these are all gonna retail mostly on the more on the expensive side. This is pretty dope. I kind of like this, and I like how it's over dyed, so it kind of gives it that faded, you know, look to it. And the, I like the logo on it too, like the italic gold logo. I kind of fuck with this. The purple one is definitely my favorite though, and the, the gray one. I would have to see what color the, the Supreme logo is on the back, but that purple one is really nice. I fuck with it. Is dope. Up next, we have uh, the same tribal camo long sleeve top. Not bad, not bad at all. It'll be for personal reasons. If you're gonna go for it, I can understand why people will go for it. But yeah, it's, I would just go for those for those camo ones, though. To be honest. Up next, we have this flags long sleeve top. This is actually not. I saw this in a leak. It's not terrible. I don't love it though. Uh, I'm like indifferent about it, which will mean I'll probably pass on it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the stripes. I wish it would have been maybe like smaller or like thinner stripes. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't really like it to be honest. Another short sleeve top. This one by Martin Wong. Another design by Martin Wong. This is uh, not my favorite, so I'll probably pass on it. And it's a cotton jersey, so it'll probably be expensive. That's a pass for me. Flame short sleeve top. This one, the black one is not bad at all. I actually like this piece. The black one, the white one, I'll probably stick between one of those two. That black one is nice. I can actually see this one having some resale to it too. It's very different from what we're used to seeing. And if it's embroidered, even better. It's a, oh, it's a tackle 12, so it is. Nice. That's actually really, really nice. I fuck with this. I fuck with that a lot. Pass, pass, pass. Arc logo Chanel, like who would think of that? <laughs> That's a pass. This is not terrible. It's a heart dyed short sleeve top. Um, yeah, I'm on the fence, so I'll probably pass on it. International short sleeve top, another all cotton jersey. This one is not terrible. It's pretty basic. If you're looking for some tees, this will this, this is a great basic tee to have. I wouldn't be you know I wouldn't be mad if I own something like this. I would, you can, you know, you can wear it pretty much anytime you want. So, yeah, that's that. Um, this is a thermal, a waffle thermal. It looks like it's paying homage to the Supreme, yeah, to the Supreme Japan stores, which is pretty dope. I kind of fuck with this, but considering it's a waffle thermal, that's where they dropped the ball, in my opinion. So, I'll probably pass on it. The colors, the black one is probably my favorite. Um, that is that. This we saw in a leak. We saw um, Taishan wearing this. This one's it's pretty basic. I'll probably be passing on that. And considering it's also going to be like 78 to 100 bucks, yeah, that's a no for me. Another waffle thermal. This one is a bow one. It looks like it has like some bows on it and it has like Supreme and some, some script text. Pretty dope, but it's a waffle thermal, so not much for me to really do with it. I'll probably pass on it. Pass, 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 pass. Some small box tees. We got these every season. That yellow one is actually not bad. The one in the front. I like the blue one in the back as well. Nah, eh, not bad. Again, if you're looking for some basic tees, for you. Perfect, perfect for you. We have a striped velour. Nope, I'm not into velour. That's a pass for me. And those colors are terrible. Those are disgusting colors. Nasty. Scattered text crew neck. Um, how do I feel about this? I don't hate it. I don't like the navy cuffs. I don't like the navy collar. I can see people going for it because it's like super, like you know, 
the, the Supreme is all over the place, but for me, I'm probably gonna pass on it. Unless it, if it resells, then I'll probably go for it. But if it's for personal reasons, I'll probably pass on this. But we got now this uh, striped rib knit polo. Big trash. Trash bag. Trash bag. Um, this textured striped polo. Um, we saw this in a leak. I'm not a fan of it. I would say pass on it. I'm not gonna go for it. This is disrespectful. This is super trash. Like, come on, what is this? Like, bruh, are you fucking serious? Y'all could keep that. Every day, keep it. Don't ever, come on, man. I guess me mad and stuff like that. It's crazy. Um, next, we have this Ganesh long sleeve thermal. This makes me like this jacket a little bit more. I don't like the thermal, I'm not into thermals, but the design is really detailed, so I would say that the jacket is, uh, you know, it just went up on my list a little bit more. Um, this top, trash, trash, trash. Actually, this stripe printed, you know, long sleeve top, for myself, I would actually go for it. I kind of like stuff like this for myself, but, you know, for resale purposes or for, you know, for just like the general public consensus is probably not the, uh, the best piece. The micro stripe mock neck, is this like a, what is this, like a, like a turtleneck? Trash. The cat long sleeve, trash. Trash, trash, trash. Um, into the hoodies, we have this Martin Wong Supreme 8 ball hooded sweatshirt. This is an all over print sweatshirt. So uh, I really dig all over print hoodies. Some of my favorite hoodies from Supreme are all over print. So I will probably be going for this. It's probably going to be pretty expensive, which is always a downside. But you know, I like this design, so you know, why not? And I like the colors on it. The tones on it are really, really nice. So I like it. Um, we did get the Delta logo hoodie, so it, the varsity jacket wasn't the only you know time we got the Delta logo, which is dope. I like the, the the logo. I like it on the hoodie more so than on the varsity jacket, but yeah, it is what it is. This 1-800 hooded sweatshirt gotta go. The whole design just burn it. Just don't even give it to us anymore. Just just keep it. Just take it back. Actually, trash, big trash. Woo! The box logos, the bandana babies, the bandana shorties, we are here. Those are fire, each and every single one of them. Maybe the only one I don't like is the brown one, but all the other ones are super, super, super fire. 150 fire emojis. Those are going to be a war zone when those come out. Probably going to be like sometime in December, like they usually do, like mid-December, right before the holidays. So yeah, that's going to be crazy. And I cannot wait, because that baby blue one, that pink one, that yellow one, ooh, that black one, mmm, fire. Next, we have this rhinestone script hoodie. Eh, it's all right. I like, I like the fact that it's rhinestone. I like the fact that the front is also pretty, uh, pretty basic. Nothing really happening there. I kind of like it. This, trash, trash. The cone hoodie, I saw this on a leak, and I'm not too crazy about it. I wish that they, uh, well, I mean, I understand it. Like, I understand, like, the text font, it being, like, the stencil, like, the street, like, 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 text with the cone. I get what they were trying to do, but I'm just not a fan of the design, to be honest. The purple one isn't bad, though. I would say that the purple one is probably my favorite. Up next, we have this text rib hoodie. It looks like it's a pretty good quality, yeah, it's knit logo panels, which is really good, which probably means that it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive than normal hoodies, but... It's pretty dope, pretty dope in my opinion. Um, the yellow one is actually really nice. I kind of like the yellow one. Um, up next, we have this Stop Crying hoodie. This hoodie is pretty dope. I like the back. I like it, to be honest. What does it say? Fuck what you heard. We bombed heaven. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Sin, this Supreme is wild. It's dope though. I kind of fuck with it. Um, up next, we have trash, trash, the HQ hoodie. Um, I guess it's not a terrible design on a hoodie. I would say the hoodie better than the thermal, but it's still not for me. I would say this is more for the people who live out there in Japan. They will probably eat this up. Out here, you know, it's probably gonna be a wash. But 
Up next, we have the Nosebleed hoodie. This is the same artwork by Rita Ackerman. This artwork, I kind of like it, and I like the Supreme text on it too. I, I'm actually not mad at it. I like the green as well. The green, the black, the purple. I like the colors chosen for this hoodie. This is actually pretty nice. I like this. This is dope. This is a dope piece. Um, sequin Viper hoodie. This is loud, very, very loud. It's not bad because it's sequin though, in my opinion. Like I can see some people pulling this off. Personally, me, I will probably, it depends. It depends on the retail price. Um, and also, like I, I'll just have to see how I feel about it as it gets closer. I like it though. I'm not gonna say I hate it. I just, uh, I'm indifferent about it at the moment. It's not bad though. Um, the cop car hoodie. This is dope. I like the fact that we got this on something else, not only the work jacket. I like this design, paying homage to New York, the NYPD cop car with the little small Supreme text on it. This is dope. I kind of fuck with this. This is very different from what we're used to seeing, so like I can understand if people will, you know, will like it, especially out here in New York, obviously. But up next, we have this uh, most hooded sweatshirt. This hoodie is actually uh, lazy, in my opinion. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I like the way that it's multicolored. Oh, it's only the gray one that's multicolored. Yeah, because this brownish one is all red. The yellow one, or oh, the orange one looks to be all purple. The gray one is the only one that seems to be all multicolored. So the gray one will probably be the one to go for, for resale reasons, at least. But I like it. I'm just not a fan of the text. I wish that Supreme will stop doing that text. I think that they can do better, but that's just my opinion, I guess. Up next, we have some S logos. Everybody's uh, least favorite Supreme logo. I love S logos. I just don't like how lazy they are with them. Like last season's S logos, the color block ones, I really, I really liked. I wish that they can do more stuff like that with S logos. But when we get stuff like this, it's really hard to, you know, debate with people. This one is pretty lazy. It's all right. If you need some S logo hoodies, I have enough. But if you want some hoodies or if you want S logo hoodies, these are, uh, these, I guess, are not bad options to go for. I'm not gonna say I hate them, but I definitely don't love them. Micro logo hoodie. This one is all right, super lazy. Again, I don't know why Supreme just likes slapping their name right in the middle of hoodies in very small text, but we got it on the trademark hoodie, I think last year or two seasons ago, and it looks like we're getting it again. So yeah, the yellow one is not bad though. I'm not, you know, I don't hate it. This piping crew neck, trash, trash. The NY hoodie, trash. We have a spread logo hooded sweatshirt. This one is also more trash. Well, I mean, it's not all trash. The colors are not bad, and I can see people gravitating towards it because of the obnoxious Supreme text on it, but I'm just not a fan of it, to be honest. We have a Disturbed Zippo hoodie. This looks to be a collaboration with Sean Cliver. I don't know who that is. I'm not familiar with his work. But the sweater, it being a zip up, I'm not really a fan of it to be honest. So I'm going to pass on it regardless. A fluffy crew neck. This is pretty cool, but it's a crew neck, so not for me. I'm not into crew necks. Um, paneled arc hooded sweatshirt. Supreme is definitely in love with their arc logo. My God, everything gets an arc logo. It's not bad, but I'm not going to go for this. It's uh, the, the the natural one isn't bad. The black one in the back isn't bad either. But whatever, it is what it is. The text stripe zip up hoodie. This one, I can see people liking it because of its, you know, Supreme logo or Supreme branding. But myself, I'm not a fan of zip ups again, so I'll probably pass on it. And we also got something very similar to this in a, in a Gore Tex jacket. So, uh, yeah. Up next, we have the Mountain Crew Neck. That's a pass for me. Super pass. Stripe hooded sweatshirt, pass. Mirrored logo, trash, I don't like it, trash. Thermal zip up, trash. Big trash, Polotech half zip hoodie. This is not bad, oh yeah, that camo one is really nice. I really like that camo. And the black one is also not bad. I like this, this is a good, this is definitely a good uh, layering piece in my opinion. I like that. Polotech crew neck, a Polotech and a crew neck? Come on, yeah, bug it, that's trash. Polotech half zip pullover, this is nice. With the small little box logo. I would say this is a great layering piece. A great one, especially for us cold uh, winters out here in New York. If you wanna throw this under a jacket, definitely a fire, fire fit. The purple one is also really nice. The black one also really nice. This is a nice piece. This is a super comp piece. And it's Polotech 200, so it's probably gonna be pretty warm. 
that's a nice piece to have. Wind stopper zip up, trash, trash. Small box crew neck, it's not trash, but it's just pretty basic. We get small box crew necks or small box designs usually every season. So if you're looking for a crew neck or for some outerwear, definitely a good piece to have there. Up next, we have some pants. I'm probably going to skip the pants simply because we already got some of the um, uh, earlier pieces in the lookbook. So I'm not going to, actually these are pretty fire though. These cargo pants, I'll fuck with those for myself. I'll probably be getting those. I'm just going to skip straight to the tees because uh, there's not a lot of shorts either. I'm gonna start with this Mary J. Blige photo tee. That is a banger. Probably the best tee to drop this season will be that one. I need them in every color, every single color. If there's eight, if there's 10, I want them all because that is a fire, fire piece. Shout out to Sade. That piece, I need it. We had rumors of a Funk Flex photo tee and I was really, really scared. I was hoping that we weren't going to get that one and I'm happy that we did it. I'm excited about this one. So shout out to Supreme. Thank you for this. This is a banger and I need it. Up next, we got the banner tee, fire. We got this in a, we saw this in a leak and I was super hype about it. So uh, yeah, I need that. Hopefully it drops early in the season. I can see actually the, the Mary J. Blige photo tee and the banner tee dropping like week one or like sometime before the winter because you know after the spring or the summer it's no point in in, in you know putting out tees but yeah save the planet tea save the planet kill yourself <laughs> the fuck it's a tea you can never go wrong with photo with uh with tees from supreme so um new shit tea this is like a tour tea it looks like like it has all of the uh supreme stores and the phone numbers on it that's pretty dope i can see uh, it being pretty well accepted Queen T, pretty dope. Another T, Heaven and Earth, dope T. <laughs> Super cream T. <laughs> oh my lord, what are we doing? You know, you pull up to school in this, you get flamed. That's a that's a fact. You get your shit roasted. <laughs> no comment. Levitation T, pretty all right. Smoke T, that's pretty fire. We saw this in a leak, and it was a uh, it was pretty dope. So I'm excited about that T as well. Faces long sleeve tee, uh, that's a pass for me. That's pretty weird. As for the hats, I'm going to skim through these hats because uh, Supreme hats are usually a letdown, especially as a plate. So uh, yeah, let's go. Trash, 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 trash. This dad hat is not bad. I can't wear dad hats, but I know a lot of people are into dad hats and they really wanted one from Supreme. So this is for you guys. This is actually pretty dope. And it's like washed denim too. I like it. I think this is a dope, dope piece. Classic logo, corduroy hats, trash. I like the classic logo, I just don't like corduroy to be honest. S logos, my favorite hats always get shafted. I don't know why they keep doing this wool. Oh man, they gotta stop doing the wools, man. Like, bring back like the regular S logo hats, man. Those are fire, those are probably the best hats too. Uh, I'm passing on those trash 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 Oh This knit logo Crusher This bucket hat is actually I it's not for me But I can see people wearing it to be honest Um the shiny nylon come on y'all gotta throw it wherever y'all source that material from y'all just gotta just stop doing business with them That shit is trash. It's so bad. So bad. So bad uh trash 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 this ear flap trash 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 yeah all the other hats are just bad um the dad hat is actually pretty dope though but now into the bags and into the accessories the backpack i actually pretty like uh it's pretty dope in my opinion i like the colors i like that camo that camo one is really nice i think they did a good job with that one the duffel bag pretty different duffel bag from what we're used to seeing so pretty pretty dope i don't know how big it is it doesn't look to be pretty big. It looks to be like pretty handheld, unlike the ones that we got last season. Pretty dope in my opinion. I kind of like it. The waist bag also looks to be pretty different. It looks to be larger than what we're used to seeing. I really like the teal one. I like that camel one a lot. That real tree camel one is fire. The shoulder bags, those look to be really small. It doesn't look like you can fit a lot of stuff into it. But for those who are into shoulder bags or into like little pouches, that is for you. And they're not bad. They're pretty dope. I like that pink. That pink was a good addition in color. The small zip-up pouch, 
that's also pretty dope. You can keep like a wallet or like an ID. That's pretty nice in my opinion. Oh, we got another backpack. We have two backpacks. We have a leather one. Is that the only color? Yeah, it's the only color. We have a black one. Um, that's actually pretty dope. I like the Supreme branding on it. It hopefully won't be too expensive because it's leather, but because it's leather, it probably will be. But we won't know until we get there. Um, this leather duffel bag is actually not bad. I can see people going after this, to be honest. I like the branding on it and the uh, shoulder bag. It's not bad. They're all cowhide, so they're probably gonna be pretty expensive, to be honest. Up next, we got some accessories. Everybody's favorite items with Supreme, it feels like nowadays. To start, we got this Supreme Honda dirt bike. This dirt bike we got leaked a couple weeks or a week ago, and uh, yeah, I was super excited about it. I, it looks exactly like the one that we saw in the mock-ups, so I'm super hype about that. I wanted it to be an OG dirt bike, and that's exactly what we got. So shout out Supreme, shout out Honda for that. The gold accent, I love it. The branding, I love it. I think they did a great job. It's probably gonna be an insanely expensive item retail, which means that resale is probably going to be there for it as well. It's probably gonna go for a ridiculous amount of money. So yeah, I'll be going for it. Hopefully I can get my hands on it just to flip it. But yeah, that's that. Up next, we have this wall. There's a Noel Wassily chair. Usually null chairs retail without a collaboration for like 200 to like 300 or 200 to like $2,000 This one being supreme it'll probably retail in the upper thousands or like, you know close to that thousand dollar price range I don't like the chair regardless, so I'll be passing on it. But yeah, that's that Up next we have this blue burner phone a burner phone. What a time we're in I don't even know what to say. The crazy thing is that I can see a lot of people pulling up, you know, and using this as a phone simply because of the flex. You know, it being a Supreme phone, it's just ridiculous. I don't know. I'm probably going to be flaming a lot of people for this, but the phone is all right. It's a 3G phone. The camera probably sucks. It comes with 60 gigs of memory. So yeah, I guess that's a plus, but yeah, it's a Brenner phone. I don't know what else to say. I guess it's dope. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, up next we have this champagne set it's pretty dope in my opinion I like that uh, Supreme is now like they're paying attention to like you know in home use stuff which is which is uh, always a plus I will probably grab a set if I can just to give it you know to my girlfriend or just to keep it here in the house but yeah that's pretty dope it is what it is up next we have plate dumbbells these are only five pound dumbbells there's a gold one and a silver one I don't know what you can really do with these probably like use it as a door stopper or you know just keep them somewhere in the house for for whatever reason you can find but yeah they're pretty dope I like them I like the gold one not much to really say there up next we have this voodoo doll the voodoo doll is pretty unique in my opinion I have never seen a company drop a voodoo doll so it's nice to see supreme you know start that I like the the text on it I like the uh, like the the gruesome, the gruesome, like, it is a voodoo doll, so I guess it should be gruesome, but I, I like it, I like it, I, li I think that it'll be good on a desk, it'll be great as like a little decor piece, so shout out Supreme for this, I kinda fuck with it. Up next, we have this Timex digital watch. This watch is really, really dope, I'm really looking forward to it, hopefully I can get my hands on one. It's water resistant, it's, I don't think it's going to be a high retail item, considering they usually not, you know, at least the ones without a collaboration, they usually retail for like 49 to like 100 bucks at most. Hopefully Supreme doesn't overprice it with their with their branding on it, but I love it. I, I think this is a dope piece. I know a lot of people are gonna be all over it, so yeah, shout out Supreme for that. Also, we have this uh, ping pong set. I really like this ping pong set, to be honest. For those of you guys who are into ping pong or, you know, or who can make use of this, I think this is a really, really dope accessory to go get. I like the like I like the fact that they included the balls as well, and it has a Supreme branding on it as well. I think these are dope, super, super dope. Up next, we have a hanging lantern. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a hanging lantern, but the branding on it is super sick. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna cop it, but if I do, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Honestly, honest to God, I have no idea. But it is dope, so whatever. Up next, we have this measuring cup. This measuring cup is fire. My only gripe with it is that it's glass, which also makes it, you know, even more valuable. 
I like I like the the cup. I just I'm I'm scared that you know it can break. I'm scared that Supreme will ship it and it breaks. It's just yeah, you're just gonna have to be really careful with it. But it is fire. It's a two cup measuring cup. Yeah, it's super dope. Super dope. Up next, Supreme Blessed all the wave gods out there. We got a brush in two colors. We got a black one and a red one. I know a lot of people wanted this. So, you know, Supreme looking out for you guys. That's really, really dope. I think this is gonna be a super, super for sure item to go for. So many people are looking for this. So yeah, that is pretty dope. Up next, we have this screwdriver set. I like this screwdriver set. It goes right, you know, hand in hand with the, uh, with the toolbox that we got last season. I like it. If I get one, I'll probably just toss it into the toolbox. I like that Supreme is doing like like in home use items again, just like I said with the with the champagne glasses. I really like this. If I get one, hopefully I will. And I hope hopefully it's not too big, but you know it doesn't look like it is. It comes with all the uh, with all the nuts and bolts, so that's always great to see. Up next, we have some Subota hard edge lighters. They're not Zippos this time around. Um, I like these though, they're, they're not bad. I don't really know what I'll use them for. I'm not a smoker, but yeah, these are pretty dope in my opinion. I kind of fuck with them. Up next, we have some insulated bottles. These are unlike the ones that we see la that we got last year. Last season's ones were just water bottles. They weren't insulated in any way. These are insulated, so they're a bit more practical. You can make more use out of them. I kind of like them. These are dope. These are definitely gonna fly. A lot of people are gonna be all over them. So yeah, super dope. Next, we have some Pelican cases. These Pelican cases, they look to be really small. They look like they're just like keychain cases. I'm not sure what we're supposed to put in them. Maybe like some pills or, <laughs> I don't really know, honestly. If you can find these for them, great. I don't know what I'm gonna be using them for, if I even go for them. They're pretty dope though. I like the colorways. I like their Pelican cases are always good quality. So yeah, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with them, to be honest. Up next, we got some post-its, some post-it flags. So for all you students out there, you're gonna be pulling up to school in your binder or handing it, handing in your homework assignments or your essays with some nice Supreme post-its attached to them, like a flex. These are dope. I'm probably gonna be picking up as many as I can because they'll probably be you know pretty cheap. So yeah, I'll try to you know rack up on these. But up next we got some keychain lights. The uh, iridescent one is probably my favorite out of the two. These are usually pretty practical accessories. You know, you can throw them on a keys and you know make use of them with any with any situation. So I really like these. Really, really dope call in my opinion. We got some keychains, the Delta logo keychain. All right, in my opinion. We got some pins, the Pledge of Allegiance pin. All right, again, in my opinion, I'll probably pass on those. We got a Politex scarf. I'm not sure why Supreme is obsessed with these Politex scarves. I don't know who buys them. I don't know anybody of, you know, nobody who has ever bought one of these Politex scarves. So I wish that they would stop making them, but whatever, I guess. We also got some thermals. We got a thermal crew and some long johns. The long john is pretty dope, especially out here in the cold in the, in the uh, New York winters. These are pretty useful. So I'll probably be picking up a pair of these. Nothing really crazy there. I cannot believe that that's all the accessories though. Jesus Christ, Supreme, come on. I thought we, last season we had more accessories than this. I thought we would have more this time around. Pretty upset about that, to be honest, but whatever. We got some crew socks, all red ones, whatever there. We got more wheels. We got some skate decks. We got a Delta skate deck. That's pretty dope in my opinion. I kind of like those. We got three colorways in that. The Supreme is love skate deck as well. Also, all right in my opinion. The Banner skateboard, that one's actually really dope. I kind of dig that. That's a, that's a must have. We also have a nosebleed skateboard. That one's pretty all right. I like it. We have a Disturbed skateboard. I'm not really a fan of that one. We have a Smoke skate deck though. That one's, a, that one's pretty dope. I really like that one. That one's probably really, you know, a really nice one to put up on a wall in your apartment or in your home, whatever. I really like that, to be honest. That's really dope. I would go for that one. I would say the banner one and the smoke ones are probably the best ones. But that looks like that is the lookbook. So yeah, lookbook is pretty all right. I'll probably take another look at it off camera to see what I missed or just to go over it one more time. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like, 
comment your thoughts, and please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely mean a lot to me. I have a lot of Supreme content coming up for you guys week after week. You know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out, a lot of stuff to talk about, so I'll definitely be on it with you guys. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is pretty dope. I don't think you guys will be disappointed there. But until next time, peace.